Hello everybody and welcome back to the All About Favor channel. This is the Walk in Favor Network. I am your host, Pastor KZ. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Let's get right into my thought for today. Have you ever had a time in your life where you felt like you made a mistake and you got some regrets for it? Have you? I don't know about you, but I certainly have. But you know what? Mistakes happen in life, and we have to use those as lessons learned. We have got to stop walking in guilt and shame and regret because that does nothing for you. Now, you have to reach a point in your life when you forgive yourself. That's all there is to it. You know, sometimes people will never forgive you. Sometimes people will never let you forget the mistakes that you made. But you have to forgive yourself in order to move forward with your life and in order for something new and something great to come into your space. Now, at some point, you have to use your past mistakes and say, you know what? I've learned from that. I'm not going to do this again. I'm not going to take that baggage into this new relationship. So sometime you're not going to be able to go back and correct the past, nor will you be able to change the fact that you made some mistakes. You're not going to change that. It is done. But what you cannot keep doing is walking in the wreckage of your mistake. At some point, you've got to let go, let God, and move forward with your life. Now, let me say this. Everybody have at one point or another made a mistake. Everybody sometimes have chosen the wrong career path. Sometimes you even cho have chosen the wrong partner or the wrong spouse. But you know what? I heard somebody say, well, Pastor KZ, I thought this person was the one God had for me. You know what? It's okay to say, you know what? I made a mistake. I misjudged this. I didn't really wait on the Lord. I was trying to do it instead of allowing the Lord to do it. And it's nothing wrong with that. And you know, some people are going to get angry and upset with you when you tell them, you know what, this is not working out for me. Let's part ways as friends, you know, and maybe we'll find our person. You know, some people get very angry and say, well, I thought you said I'm the one God had for you. Well, I made a mistake, okay? Now, be okay with that and move on. You know what? We've got to learn how to stop carrying around guilt. Stop carrying around, you know, shame. And you got to stop staying stuck in situations, on jobs, in relationships that really no longer serve you. Be okay with walking away saying this was not the right choice. I made a mistake. And you know something else in making mistakes? There is nothing wrong with saying, I apologize. I am so sorry. Some people cannot utter those words. Or when they say those words, it's always a negative tone behind it. Well, I'm sorry if you say I hurt your feelings. No, I'm saying it. Well, I don't see it that way, but I apologize. I'm sorry. Everybody make mistakes. We all human. That's not an apology. You might as well keep that. Don't even say that because you're doing two things. You're saying it in a condescending way. And number two, you're stating the obvious. When you state the obvious, that don't need to be spoken. So you can't sometimes go back and change the past. You made some mistakes move forward with it, forgive yourself, and start by loving on yourself. That way you can open the door for new things to come. You know what? God is just to forgive. Sometimes people will never forgive, but God is just to forgive your mistakes. All I'm suggesting today is that learn to accept your part of the story and then move forward so you can make room for better. What do you all think about that? Well, at the end of this video, don't forget, comment, like, and share. If you have not subscribed or followed, go ahead and hit that bell as well. And 
Get focused. Some of you are not focused. From looking at some of these emails, you all over the place. You're doing too much and you don't have any balance. Find some balance. Get some peace in your mind. Some of you, you, you don't have peace of mind. You just, you, you're depressed. You're frustrated. You go from highs and lows in your emotion. There's, you're out of balance here. So protect your peace at all costs. And remember, you are so worth it. You're worth it. God loves you, but you got to love yourself before you are able to love anybody else. Start treating yourself better. Self-care is the best care. You made some mistakes. Let it go. You got some things you have regrets. Let it go. Move forward with your life and have a better quality of life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back tomorrow.